They say that Matthew Perry died from an overdose of ketamine, but did he really, or is this misinformation by the mainstream? How did Matthew Perry really die? Is ketamine to blame? And why would the mainstream media be pushing the narrative that Matthew Perry died from ketamine? Now, ketamine is a drug that I was extremely fearful of because I would travel to Costa Rica and I would go to these red light places where the girls would be using ketamine. And when I saw them on ketamine, it looked kind of scary. They looked like zombies, like totally zonked out. And I thought, wow, this is a very dangerous drug. This is something I would never try. After I started studying it more in the context of biohacking and I heard some people have some miraculous life stories about how it saved their life and changed their life. And after I had a number of friends that I watched experience it in, in person using it safely with the knowledge of how to use it, I realized that ketamine is actually one of the safest of these type of drugs and that death from ketamine is extremely rare and difficult to do. Like I am absolutely shocked if I hear anybody actually dies from ketamine because that would be like a really difficult stupid thing to do. You'd have to be stacking it with a bunch of other stuff. And it's those other things that actually cause the death. Looking for peptides and SARMs? Then head to SwissChems.is and get 10% off when you use the code below. And the link is in the bio.